All right, we just got back from Target. Um, I had to go pick up a few things and then I got some gift cards. So I wanted to show you guys my Disney budget binder. Um, this is not my only budget binder. I am a cash stuffer. So I have, these are kind of our personal budget binders, but this is obviously my favorite one to use. So I use it for Disney cruises and for when we go to the parks. Got it on Etsy. I don't think the shop is open anymore. Otherwise I would link the creator. But I got it last year, so she's no longer making them. But there's a ton to pick from if you just go in there and search Disney budget binders. You can do some really cute custom covers. I've seen really, 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 really cute ones. Anyways, um, love these little paper clips. The whole idea is you have envelopes with different categories and then you put the cash in there. Um, now usually I put like a tracking slip in there that looks like this, um, but I need to get more on Amazon. They're all filled out right now, so. Um, like for example, once I know how much I need to save for dining, I'll put the amount that I wanna save and then I can just, you know, when I put $25 in there, um, I know exactly how much I still need for that envelope. So I'll get more trackers and update them on a different video. But these are the envelopes that I focus on and I actually wanna add a few more categories, but <clears throat> for now, it's fine. So dining, pretty self-explanatory. Hotel. Ground transportation. Flights. Trip insurance, we're not getting trip insurance. When we go to the parks, I don't get trip insurance, but when we go on cruises, we absolutely get trip insurance. Pet sitter, I won't need a pet sitter this time, but you know, we have a lot of critters, so if we ever go on a cruise, we definitely utilize pet sitters. Tips, um, this is for cruises and for the parks. I'll get into that a little bit more when I go over my budget sheet. Mouseliness, right now I just use this for my Genie Plus and my shopping envelope, but I wanna get separate envelopes for those down the road. Um, and then this is just my cruise envelope. But, you know, I was going through my tracker trying to figure out how much I would need for each category and then I wanted to put some of the gift cards in. So let's do this that. This is just um, what I came up with on the fly. And how I came up with these numbers is roughly on what we spent when we went together in May, because obviously those numbers will be similar. So when we went in May, um, we spent $119 on Genie Plus. We spent almost $600 on dining just for my daughter and I, which is ridiculous. You can definitely cut down on that category. Merch, whoops, 600 bucks, but it was fun. Um, but I wanna challenge myself. Last time we spent $3,400. This time my goal is to spend $2,800. So this is kind of how we're gonna do that. Or at least what my goal is anyway. Okay, so for dining this time, I want to stick to 350. We are not doing any sit down dinners other than Tusker House. So we're gonna try that. Um, for the hotel, we're staying um, at a value resort. We're staying at Pop. So it's 555 for the three nights that we're there. And I've already done the deposit of 165. So now we just have 388 remaining. So I'm gonna highlight that. Anything I've already paid for has a check mark by it. So ground transportation, so we're doing the Sunshine Flyer and it was $18 because they had a promotion going on. I still haven't booked our resort back to the airport yet, but I assume that'll be around the same at like 25 bucks. And then I want to budget in case we do that minivan. Um, we might wanna do that when we're going to Magic Kingdom instead of taking the buses. So I put $60 in for that. So we already paid for our flights and usually this is not how much we usually pay for flights. The reason it's so expensive. <laughs> okay, so when I travel with just Ava and I, I like to find flights that have the seat configuration where it's two on the outside, three seats in the middle, and then two on the outsides again. And they didn't have that available. So my options were to either ride first class with her because um, they have the two seats in there or to just buy the whole row in the normal section. And it was cheaper to buy the whole row of three seats in the, you know, what do you call the regular section where the peasants sit? Economy, sure. We bought the whole row in economy seating 
And I didn't want to be that person in first class. First of all, I do not fly first class. I don't want anybody getting the impression that I'm like bougie. Um, I just, I prioritize my comfort in terms of like being with my daughter. I don't want to be sitting next to a stranger. So I'm willing to pay whatever is needed to make me feel comfortable on a flight. I'm already a super anxious flyer. So I was willing to shell out the extra cash for first class. That's the only reason why we did that. But anyway, so flights were more expensive this time, basically because we paid for three seats there and back when only two people are going. So, um, but now we don't have to worry about sitting next to a stranger, so that's fine. And then tips, I always bring like $25 in ones just so we can tip Bell Services or when we ride the Sunshine Flyer, I tip our driver. When we do the minivan, I would give him cash as well. Um, and then this is the little wallet that I bring for that. It's just this super tiny thing from Target um, that I just put my ones in there. Works out really nicely. So we need our 25 in ones. Shopping, merch. Last time I spent $600. I'm gonna rein it in. We're gonna go for $400. We'll see if we can do that. Um, Genie Plus, I just did 50, so that's the equivalent to like one day of Genie Plus for both of us. I don't think that we would need more than that because we don't need it at the Halloween party and we're only going to Animal Kingdom. So that should be fine. And then the tickets, this is how much we paid for um, our Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tickets. So, so my trip goal in total is to pay no more than $2,800 total for our four day trip. So, so let's see kind of where we're at and what we need. I have a couple gift cards to put in there today. These are the gift cards I just picked up at Target. You get 5% off when you use your red card. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. So like today I save $5. Whoop-dee-doo, right? But hear me out. So Target Circle, so the app on your phone, just had a deal going where if you spend $100 four times, in 30 days, they give you a $30 gift card. So like for me, I grocery shop at Target, I easy, $100 four times, done, take my money. So what I do to get those bonuses, unless, um, you know, like sometimes I go a little short of what the goal actually is. So I needed to hit my $100 mark, so I went and knocked out three gift cards, and then I get $30 back for groceries. So. I just think Target is the easiest place to hack when it comes to Disney savings and getting the most bang for your buck. So, 100 bucks to put in the envelopes today. And then I wanna talk about the Disney Visa. I am also a credit card hacker. Hacker, meaning that I try and reap the most benefits from my credit cards as possible and I do not carry a balance on them. But this one, you get 2% cash back on all Disney purchases. So when I book my hotels, when I book my cruises, when I buy my party tickets, I always put them on this credit card because I get 2% cash back. And that cash goes onto your Disney Rewards Redemption card. So the Redemption card is reloadable. Right now this has like $35 on it, I think. But every statement balance, you know, I transfer whatever points are onto this and it's just a gift card. So this will probably be up to like a hundred bucks by the time we actually leave for vacation. So um, a few other perks of this card. It's not the best, but I do like it. You get 10% off most dining locations. You also get 10% off merch um, when you spend $50 or more. And they do offer, we don't utilize this, but you, we did get a $300 statement credit as well when we first opened it. So I already got that $300 bonus. And then they do offer financing. So if you were to, let's just say you wanted to book a Disney cruise um, and you had to put $1,000 down, but you didn't really have the money right now, they have six months of financing at 0% interest. Again, not something that I utilize, but some people might wanna book the trip and then they have the money coming and pay it off later. So something to think about. It's an okay card. Not the best, but not the worst either. So let's stuff these. For categories, all right, for dining, I'm gonna put 50 in there right now. So this is my $50 gift card. We're gonna put that in dining for now because my dining goal was 350. So now I only need $300 more for dining. Let me get my budget sheet out so I know. 
um, hotel is pretty much already paid for. I'm gonna put a placeholder in there just so I know how much that I need. I use these Jack Skellington placeholders, so 500. We've already almost paid for that, but I'm gonna put that in there just so I know that I don't have to worry about that. Placeholder. Ground transportation, um, I'm not gonna put a gift card in there just because the Disney gift card wouldn't count towards like the Sunshine Flyer or the minivan because those are powered through Lyft, so I'll leave that one for now. My flights are already paid off, so I'll put my $1,000 placeholder in there so I know that that's already done. Trip insurance, we don't care about that right now. Pet sitter, don't need it. Tips, that'll just be used in cash, so I'm not stuffing that one. Mausoleneous. So I'm going to put the other two in there. So this one, these can both be for merch, actually. There we go. So we'll do that. And then um, for the redemption card, I'm just going to put that in here, too. So another cool thing is with our pass holder discount, we also get 20% off at merch and dining locations. So... That all adds up as well. Um, so yeah, this is all we have for now. We still have a long ways to go. As of right now, um, we still need, let's figure out, so. Okay, so as of right now, this is how much I still wanna save before our trip. So about $1,200 left. I think that's doable. Um, we still have like three more months to go. So two more months. Perfectly, perfectly doable. All right. So I think that's going to do it for this video. The next time I have gift cards, I'll make sure to come on here. Um, by then I'll have some trackers. We can update it and go through it together. Um, and yeah, let's see how much we can save. Can we do it? Do we think we can do it? I think we can. So, and do we think I can stay under my $2,800 budget? We'll see. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please give me a like and subscribe and I hope you come back. Um, I just got a huge Amazon haul delivered in the mail today. I can't wait to share with you guys what we got. Um, we finalized what outfits we're going to wear to the Halloween party and I can't wait to show you guys. So um, make sure you subscribe so you're notified when the next video uploads. Thank you. Bye.